How's it going guys? Welcome back to Hive Swap. I think we must be nearing the end. I wasn't expecting the alternate universe thing to be as long as the, uh, the first part of the game was. First half of the game is, I guess, would be uh, uh, accurate to say. Yeah, it's uh, this is a pretty large game considering it's an act one. So I'm, I'm kind of curious what, where the story is going and how how much work has been done on a sequel I, i'm all i'm all invested now so the grooblies seems to be the current favorite i'm going i'm pronouncing it that way for my own sake so i can keep track of g r u b b l e s l e s got to make sure i get that order right doing that thing again uh, am i actually going to be able to read and understand these letters at all i've like i've went and looked it up but that doesn't mean I'm actually going to know remotely at all what if I'm grabbing the right letters in the right order or anything. Ah. Do I just have to guess? How can I... Is, is it totally just going to be trial and error? Do I just have to find letters that look kind of like what I'm going for? Weird G looking thing. I think I grabbed the, the two mountain peak thing the first time. Damn it. I've... This is going to be a huge pain, isn't it? Oh, do you know what I was probably supposed to do? Is look at the map of what... Well, I know that that one's a G, I think. I was probably supposed to look at that note and figure out what... How precisely it was written out. Ah. Uh, let me just pull out a pencil and make a note of these weird alien symbols and then try and do that while also playing Snake. Doing it this way seems like a better option than just a complete and utter guessing game, though. I'm gonna have to, like, keep this note in front of me to, to keep a close, close eye. Especially when my drawings only, like, half look like, look like what it is I'm actually trying to get. Uh, less than half. They're atrocious drawings, really. But I think I, I think I should be able to pull it off, hopefully. I need two of these weird G ones. This other snake is totally just there to be in the way, isn't it? Uh, I grab the quick backwards C, I guess. I don't know what else to call it. Uh, the thing that I want... Oh, this thing that looks like a Z looked more like a weird Y, the way he had wrote, written it on his little notepad. This looked more like an H. The, his, his writing is weirdly messy. It doesn't barely looks anything like any of these letters. God, I'm glad I wrote that down. That was painful. <laughs> uh, perfect. I gained access to both rooms. I kind of wasn't expecting that. Oh, and we're raising the platform. I hope that you're ready to become acquainted with this guy and, and be buddies. You're all good, right? Everyone gets along. Everyone loves each other. It's all fine and dandy. <laughs> Ballerina twisted roll out of there. That was some good evasive maneuvering. Well, I figured out the game, but the monster chased me into... Uh, fairly confident this is a kitchen. It's really gross, but anyway, uh, keeping you informed... Monster? Wait, sorry, I'm a little woozy. The deer cat. Oh, yeah, now I remember. The Tetrarch's Lucis. Okay, sure. Hey, uh, while we have a second, maybe you can fill me in on what that means? What what means? What's a Lucis? Wow. What? That's... Just about the saddest thing I've ever heard get said. Is this some sort of like spirit animal? Like it's like strongly connected with you? Yeah, cultural differences, etc., etc. Can you bring me up to speed on this wild beast stalking me? Why do damn do why does Damic even have a crazy cat monster in his house? Well, it's not usually crazy. Your Lucis takes care of you, protects you from wild monsters, and also dying from like whatever, you know? I guess mine's not too good at that, since I'm being too crushed, since I'm still being crushed by heavy debris. I... not really. Are they all, uh, beasts? Well, yeah, what else would they be? And they're always this rambunctious? I mean, it seems like it'd be pretty crazy if everyone in my in your family had their own rip-snorting monster. What's a family? That's... that's a stretch. Didn't know what brothers were earlier. Uh, it's some adults and their kids, or one adult and some kids, or some kids and their babysitter, and the conspicuous absence of a father who isn't garbage. Adults? Yeah, why? 
Adults live on your planet? Yeah, of course. Is that not where they live? For you? For your adults? Sorry, this is somehow the weirdest thing you've said yet. Once you come of age, you get sent off planet for your ordeals. And that's it? Nobody ever comes back, ever? No exceptions. There are no adults on Alternia. I think that might be another wow I'm an alien conversation. Better save for when we're not pinned on you're not pinned under a bunch of rocks. I'm under a metaphorical pile of rocks of questions right now, but you got these literal rocks to worry about. Probably I'm gonna have to rest in a sec. Okay, well I'm gonna focus on finding the hover pad. I'll let you know when I do. Thanks, Joey. I'm gonna focus on maintaining consciousness, I think. Good point. Stay, uh, stay alive. Uh, kid power. Oh, geez, that was awful. Sorry, bye. Nah, it was good. He knew exactly what you meant. It wasn't a weird thing to say at all. It was totally... Nah, it was awful. Maybe he would already fallen asleep by then. We can hope. It's really gross. Maybe you can clean it? Yeah, you definitely traveled to a strange alien world to deep clean this guy's kitchen. That's how you live your life, for sure. I don't know, you barely clean your own kitchen. I don't think it's happening. These are, those are some dishes, and they are dirty, and they are 100% not your problem. But what can I get from them? These dishes are too filthy to use, and you're definitely not cleaning them. You're not Damex made. Yeah, that's what Zeros is, Zafros is for. <laughs> this is probably a fridge, right? You get the sense that this is a fridge. Given it's a fridge shape and its placement in what is obviously the kitchen. It's tall and almost rectangular. It's a stretch to say it's a fridge shape, in my opinion. This is cruel aid? Oh, you get it. <laughs> this place is kind of horrible. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think I need to know any further details about that myself. And I don't see anything in this room that's of any use to us. So let's just run upstairs. They seem to lead to a curving hallway. Hmm. Yeah, we'll figure it out once we're up there. There are a, a lot of different, like, unique environments and settings. Originally, it was like, is this entire game going to take place in this one house where there's, like, six different rooms? Nah, they really went for it. There's a lot of different areas where you can go. A hover pad! This really is the future! You're... I'm so shocked you were able to identify that the way you were. That what you mean? This is an alien planet or something. Wait. Wait. Is this the future? Can I switch back to him just under a pile of rocks? Oh, look, he's doing his best. So solemnly, so sadly. You've been pinned by the ruins of your destroyed gander precipice. That's what I got that wrong earlier. You think you can't really see all that well at the moment. Luckily, it seems your body shielded your tablet from most of the rubble. Ow, ow, ouch. Move? You try, but it's too heavy. Zoo smell is working on it, but at the rate he's going, it might be old age that does you in. Yeah, your neighbor's hive is pretty obviously better than yours now, but you must not despair. You must survive and rebuild. Through the cocoon, though the cocoon has cracked, the throttle moth that emerges shall be all the fiercer, clad in glorious additional rumpus rooms. From the powerless depths of your crumbly prison pile, you take solace in the mercy that at least there's no claw gunk in here with you. Man, these words are just... <laughs> Whoosh! From the powerless depths of the claw gunk, that whole biz is the same. I don't think there's anything to be done from this perspective. I believe I'll swap back the hives. <laughs> I'm sure that means exactly what I mean it to mean. I guess he, his attic is his shooting range. Looks like Damick is pretty into guns. You resolve to be a little more cautious when solving his goofy paranoia puzzles. Also, if you ever, like, meet him in person, extreme caution is probably a good bet. Ah, uh, he was using it to move his drum kit along, just like they were kind of saying before. Looks like Damick has speakers all over his house. You know, for a guy who's apparently obsessed with conspiracy and secrecy, he sure seems to be kind of a showy jackass. <laughs> Alright, I'm glad that we're also getting on board with the idea that this guy's maybe not great. Maybe we can talk Zephros out of spending his life with this dude or doing everything he says. These bands look pretty cool. 
like not exactly your thing but pretty cool nonetheless uh, I'm missing this particular reference but this is totally a reference to the Green Day American Idiot album uh, I don't I don't know this one though unfortunately assuming that is what that is that lets me know what troll hearts look like and they look uh, dangerous what luck a vet med kit just like the one you forgot to bring along uh, your trip well maybe it could just as easily be some lame old normal med kit for non-veterinarians, but you're optimistic. Well, cool, I guess load up then, if that's what it is. Just think of all the possibilities for alien animal care held in this little kit. Yeah, but it's probably for stitching up organs and things that where our animals don't have. You kind of regretted not taking the one from your bedroom, but this more than makes up for that absurd blunder. I don't even know if it was an option for me to take the other one before, I might have totally overlooked that. Why do these all have the same dorky symbol on them? Boys, you swear. Such goofs. This big, messy pile of weapons and percussion instruments is really hampering your ability to use these stairs. See, shh. Oh, he's got like a buzzsaw crash symbol, which seems like a bit of a like an alien or douchey thing or whatever. My cousin is like a really talented drummer, and he totally got one of those. They're like a real thing you can buy. I don't know. It's not actually sharp. It's not going to like chew away your drum drumstick or anything. Just plunge your hands into the pile of death, huh? You think you'll look around a bit for something here to assist you. Nah, I guess that's a reasonable first step, but I would have just went for it. Let's just grab the hover cart and use use that. Zephros says this is his, but it looks like Damic uh, has other ideas. Oh well, Damic isn't here. Now you can help Zephros with it and help Zephros by returning it. Did, is that like Damic's symbol? I think that's what we've been using when communicating with the pad. He just painted that straight on there. Yeah, that's totally Damic's. I found the hover pad, hover sled, whatever it's called. I got it. I can come save you. Excellent. Although, I think I'm a little boxed in. Between the deer cat and this pile of guns and drums, I don't really have a clear path. Oh well, I'll, I'll figure it out. Well, the Tetrarch made some pretty excessive... <laughs> you got the two X sounds in a row. Excessive modifications to my hover pad. That might be able to help? Yeah, uh, this guy doesn't sound like he has a good sense of respect for boundaries or personal property. Oh, he hates it. <laughs> Tetrarch Damex says the concept of private property is a vehicle for exploitation and the tool by which high blood subjugate the low blood underclass. Uh, well, I'm new here. I can't really comment, I guess. Anyway, I'll be back in your hand. It'll be back in your hands now. So, problem solved. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Talk to you soon. I uh, nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect that to be so easy. Just kind of lifted itself straight out of there, hey? Well, I guess we go, but we're still going to have to get past his uh, his pet, right? He's still afraid of that thing, hey? You don't want to tangle with the terrifying deer cat while he's still so terrifying. Maybe if he could be calmed down somehow, or at the very least distracted. Hmm. What? Use buyers as a distraction? Or worse, an offering to that angry beast? You would never. Yeah, Jude would be super bummed about that, wouldn't he? You think back to all the brown blood on the floor of the living room. Medical attention might be what the deer cat needs, actually, but you can't just throw the door open and come at it, stethoscope blazing. You've got to find some way to calm it down so you don't make a more so you can make a more careful approach. Preferably from the other side. Hmm, so I, I gotta go back up there and maybe try and ascend down using the hover pad. Worth a shot. Uh, maybe I gotta use it to move all the crap out of the way. Oh! Well, that didn't work quite how I expected it to. Yeah, just chuck it on the floor. Get it out of the way. No need to load it up onto the machine. That's a reasonable. That was fine. That's good. Don't... It's still kind of crashing. But um, It's still kind of like... Uh, playing out a little a little drum roll for us there, drum fill. If the Tetrarch's Lucis is upset, it might have got in hurt. Got X hurt? Got X? Oh, got 10. 10. Yes, I gotcha. That's cute. Anyway, I did see a whole lot of blood smeared up to a huge hole in the floor. Oh no. Well, it was brown, so it's pretty old. I'm not sure what you mean. The Tetrarch is a bronze blood. 
So that's either Damek or his Lucis, and it's recent. Wait. Okay, you've been saying things about blood color a lot, but I'd been assuming it was metaphorical. Are you saying members of your species literally have different colors of blood? Yeah, I'm a rust blood. Bronze, rust, so it's a metals thing? Those two seem like they would be quite similar, but I can see one's a little bit more reddy, one's a little bit more gold and yellow, I guess. No, it's by color. I'm actually a burgundy blood, but... But maybe this isn't the best time to talk about all this? Uh, yeah, I'll be glad to tell you all about the blood on our planet when I'm not leaking so much of it on the ground. Well, I really thought I'd be dead by now. Don't worry, I'm coming as soon as I figure out a way past this wild beast. Maybe I can outrun him, maybe I can sneak past him, maybe I can give him a treat? I I do have some pet treats. What's a pet? Uh, I think it would be a little weird if I described it to you, given the fact that you were, it sounds like, raised by one? Hmm? <laughs> Let's move on. Maybe I can outrun him. I'm surprised he's been chasing you. It's really not like him. I don't think he is chasing us, I think we're just panicking. Well, now that you mention it, he didn't actually chase me. Uh, maybe I can sneak past him? Pretty unlikely. Wait. Are you the kind of alien that's invisible and silent? No. Yeah, no chance then. I think this might all be a misunderstanding. He's probably upset. With that mech missing, and everything that happened before you got here, I mean... They can be kind of that. They can be kind of frustrating. Lucis's, I mean. They mean well and they try to take care of you, but they don't always know what they're doing, and it's not always easy to understand them, you know. Yeah, I have someone like that. Oh, yeah, my babysitter. You'd love her. Her name has an X in it. <laughs> oh, okay. We, I don't actually know what her name is. Well, okay. If you have an upset beast on our hands, there's really only one thing to do. Vet stuff. <laughs> Joey Claire, amateur veterinarian, is going pro. Oh, BRB. Yeah, we got we got our, our vet supply bag. We can just go for it. Hey now, you're an all-star. <laughs> you can get down to the bedroom. Neat. I say, I say we give that a, a quick whirl then. And we're back on the other side of this guy. So if he's distracted over there, we should be able to just slip through. Oh. He's kind of gorgeous. <laughs> so lovely. Not very cat-like. It's like a dog deer in my mind. Hey, what's up, dude? We just bailed on that immediately. The rampaging deer cat out there is still pretty ferocious. You gotta find some way to distract it so you can approach from the other side. From the other side now? Quit. You, just, you keep picking sides. You, you just gotta go with one side, okay? I don't. I don't know what your deal is. Before you were on the other side and you didn't like that, the hover pad dumped a hodgepodge of guns, drums, and rubble into that hole where it seems to have disintegrated on the forest field. Ah, that's not good, is it? I probably can't do anything with the safe? I mean, it, it, it wasn't a thing before. It wasn't usable before. Just a typical air vent previously repurposed as a human vent. But it, can I hover pad my way downstairs? No, I, I don't think I can hover pad myself like that. I Beast book on the door? You pick a page of ran at random and accidentally spend a few minutes reading about muscle beast pectoral tumescence. Maybe you should just use this on Lucis's that you actually encounter. Also hope that you never actually encounter one. If I come back to the kitchen, this thing's gonna be... Yeah, it's just right, right there. So coming at it from the other side makes more sense to me. Open, open the refrigerator? What kind of crazy... Oh, it's a disgusting mess. Did he just hurl a handful of eggs into the fridge and leave it like that? Boys, you swear. Kind of a go-to response with all this craziness. Are those teeth? You remind yourself not to have any birthdays here. The Crux. Wow, that's a really, really stupid name for a canned beverage. Is it kind of making fun of LaCroix? I feel like that's what's going on there. This pizza must commit all sorts of pizza sins, seeing as the tastes and sensibilities of the human race were not considered during its creation. Perhaps completely unworthy of the name pizza. Look at the milk? 
This is Lucis milk. Milk for Lucis's? Milk from Lucis's. Either way, gross, but maybe it'll calm down the monster? You take the milk. Maybe it'll calm the beast. And grub sauce. Huh. You wonder if everyone on this planet eats nothing but bugs. Or maybe it's just damn it. That would be worse somehow. Yeah, it would be worse. If everyone did it, then it's normal. If one person does it, then it's a weird thing that one person does by themselves. And that is notif notably a, a weird thing. The cabinet's empty. Kind of a running theme today. And also for most of your life. Wait. There's a bowl in the back. A clean bowl. Maybe Damek missed it too. That would explain why it's actually clean. Can I pour this into the bowl? Okay, great. I have that going on for me. Little bowl of milk to distract with, hopefully, maybe? Yeah, you into that? You like that? Hey. Yum. Yum, yum. Oh, it's kind of adorable seeing him just lapping that up. Uh, now we should be able to come back around to the other side and then uh, not die in some way or another. That's the general goal. That is generally what I'm going for here. I don't know exactly how I'm going to pull that off, but it'll make sense. The plan is the plan is being worked on one step at a time here. So I snuck around. I should be in the same room as it now. And now I can study him. Her? <laughs> they? You flip through the pages. Let's see here. Uh, oh, here we go. Its scientific name is apparently Cuspidated Grimalkin. Ahem. The Cuspidated Grimalkin is a chimerical union of predator and prey with the strengths of both. Long retractable claws and razor sharp teeth alongside a defensive crown of stabbing horns. The speed for lightning quick dashes and the endurance to run entire nights without tiring. Proud and resplendent, Cuspidated Grimalkin prefer to bond with bronze-blooded wigglers, in whom they sense a strong natural aptitude for leadership. So it's not like they're hatching out of the same egg or cocoon or whatever. They, like, bond. They meet and uh, have some sort of union that goes on. Such aspirations in low bloods are grounds for culling, of course, and the primary cause of death for Cuspidated Grimalkin is in the defense of their treasonous wards. Anecdotal accounts suggest that these cuspidated Grimalkin, who manage to survive the death of their wards, will typically seek out a similarly orphaned troll and attempt to bond with them, although the selection process is naturally rather mysterious due to its staggering illegality. Several anatomical diagrams are included from these. You think you'll be able to treat the deer cat, which is what you're going to continue calling it for, for now. Cuspidated Grimalkin is a bit of a mouthful. So can we just, like, be nice to it? Your appraisal of the patient is over. Demonstrate your newfound expertise by using your newfound instruments. Oh. Yeah, the thorn from the paw. Classic parable. Ah, uh, We're immediately pals. I'm glad to have helped. We're such good, kind people. <laughs> Should I give myself more of a pat on the back there? I don't want to break my wrist congratulating myself so hard. Oh, wow, what a cutie. But what's his name? You could ask Zephros, you guess, but you feel like there's something between the two of you now. Something that merits a new one. A new what? Oh, between the two- you're gonna rename this character? Don't rename him. He clearly was born with a name. Cornibuster? I don't like that name at all. It's like Cornelius and Buster together? It's weird. I'm gonna make him Broccoli Rob. <laughs> I know that's a thing, and honestly, I like don't know why it's a thing or what it means or whatever. But I know broccoli Rob is like a thing, isn't? <sighs> Rob is like a part of a broccoli, I think maybe. And so when someone's name is Rob and you call him broccoli, I don't know. But that's what I'm going for, because that's what came to mind, and I like it better. <laughs> I got an achieve achievement, insufferable zoo smell, and it's a picture of the two different Lucises. So I think there's an achievement for renaming either one of them. Broccoli Rob seems to be doing better, and so are you. You helped out an animal, an alien animal. This is a pretty big win for you, so you're riding high, despite the bizarre and frightening circumstances. Speaking of riding, oh, ride. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm suddenly pretty nervous about how I'm going to get over there. I keep seeing the shadows of huge hulking things flying around outside. Yeah, the crossing won't be easy. Man, X's can serve for X 
sounds for tens and for crosses, it's a, a lot of Xing. Is it always that hard to get across the street? No, I mean, not usually. Things are pretty intense. I finally am catching on here. How do you mean? Somebody we were supposed to be meeting up with didn't show. Maybe they did and it went bad. I really don't know. Damick didn't tell me what was happening. And I screwed everything up. I know it. You should stay there. I don't want you to risk getting hurt because of me. You were going to risk it for me. I'll figure something out. I'll be fine. Yeah, that's true, I guess. Yeah, get over here. Come help me then. I need saving. <laughs> no guessing necessary. I didn't realize how uh, then how brave you were being. Thanks. Uh, thank you. It means... <laughs> It means a lot, but no buts, except yours, which I'm saving. Does that translate? These aliens still have butts? <laughs> Are you sure? Extremely. Is that, you're not like appropriating it? It's cool now, you guys are like friends now? Oh, <laughs> well, I'll be there in a flash. Excellent. Wait, we? Oh, we'll, we'll be, I read I'll be there. I was misreading that. Oh. Using your flashlight to guide. Extra layer of meaning to the flash. We got this. We got this, Broccoli Rob. Lead the way, you beaut. Well, that was anticlimactic. That was uh, the shortest walk. Hey, we're here. I think you guys can just talk to each other now. Oh, jeez. Is that you under the rubble? I mean, I assume it is. I hope so. Not that I want you being crushed under rubble. I hope it didn't happen enough that I'd mistake you for someone else being crushed under rubble. No, it's me. I was lucky. Lucky? Left for dead, covered up by not hurt enough to actually die? The ones who got called on sight were snatched up to be called later, probably in some sick high blood spectacle. They weren't as lucky as me. This is what you're rebelling against? These drone things? No, I, I mean not really. The heiress is in charge and the drones obey her. It's her birthright. So why is she doing this? I have no idea. Again, I know I'm an outsider, but it seems sick. It doesn't seem good. No bloods get called for anything and everything or no reason at all. She doesn't have to have one. Or maybe our subgrub being on fire makes a really sick selfie background. Are you serious? Serious? She sounds terrible. Yeah, no kidding. It's like the tra Tetrarch says. The slow, the soft, the unlucky, the troublemakers. Anyone who doesn't jump when the heiress snaps her webby little fingers. They get rounded up, enslaved, or slaughtered. Especially rustbloods, like me. Haha, <laughs> that is terrible. Your neighborhood is on fire. You're buried in rubble. Like you said, this is why we're rebelling. This is so awful. Why hasn't someone already put a stop to this? My subgrub is full of low bloods. We don't matter. This, this subgrub would be like your neighborhood, I guess, like your suburban neighborhood. So nobody who does matter cares. All this is, is taking out the garbage. It's always been this way. Nobody does anything about it. Especially not gutter bloods, like me. Wow, there's a lot of insults for this one type, isn't there? Most, we're mostly good at lying down to die. But you're rebelling, right? So you're doing something. Oh, that's not me, that's the Tetrarch. Tetrarch Damic is different. He's amazing, I wish you could meet him. He always does things like, he's in a movie where he's the star, you know? Uh, he put the whole thing together. The Rebel Network, the plan, all of it. But without him, we don't have a chance. He was the one everyone talked to and now he's gone. He's gone and I'm alone. And I'm slow and soft and stupid. I'm just a nothing little gutter blood. Nobody. No, no, no! What? This damn it guy. He sounds like he stinks. What? Okay, I'm sorry, but you constantly- you talk about him constantly, and not a single word you've said doesn't make him sound like an awful bully. No, it's not like that at all. He's just looking out for me. Uh, open your eyes. You do have eyes, right? <laughs> what do you think you're- really saying these terrible things. Why? It's not like I, I don't know where you're coming from. Sometimes my pa makes me feel just rotten, and I think I'm the reason he's never around. 
And I think, am I the reason he's never around? What's wrong with me? What makes my own father not want to see me? But that's a load of garbage. The only person responsible for the terrible things he does is him. You don't, you don't understand. Me and the Tetrarch have been together since we were grubs. We were fated to be Moirels. You wouldn't get it because you're an alien. I need him. No, you don't. Uh, yeah, it sounds like you don't, but you are assuming a lot right now, Joey. I may not know anything about the social customs of this crazy alien planet, but know that a real friend would never stand by and let you think and say those things about yourself. I don't think you're nothing. In fact, I know you're not nothing. You've got plenty of your own bravery. Just because fighting back was his idea doesn't mean it doesn't take courage to see it through. And you were going to risk everything to save me, an alien you've never even met. That's the bravest thing I've ever... Uh, th th that ever heard get tried. Do you really think so? Yeah. I believe in you, Zephros. Wow, you remembered my name that time. Yeah, that's because you made a big impression on me. And we're such good friends. And it'd be really sad if you gave up and died here under these rocks. Oh man, that actually means a lot to me. I'd never even dreamed that something like this could happen for someone like me. Zephros, I'm gonna do my absolute best to raise your standard of friendship to the point where having your name remembered is not the nicest thing anyone's ever done for you. I'm not alone after all. I've got Joey Alien here to save me and to tell me what to do. <laughs> uh, no, we're in this together. Oh yeah, right. Thanks, Joey. Now let's get you out of there and figure out what's next. Are you sure you don't know anyone who could help us? I kind of don't even know what kind of help we need, but it seems we do. Well, I do know someone, but they don't exactly live nearby. It'll be a journey. Are you sure they'll help us? Oh yeah, she hates the heiress, and she's our biggest fan. That's good enough for me. Now hold still, I'm gonna get you out of there. Broccoli Rob, I I'm, I'm gonna kind of have to make you do this, I think. Oh, he's antsy. Good instincts. You better finish up here quick. Yes, uh, that's the whole reason I went and did that. That's clearly the solution that I need to be taking. Try not to crush him more than he already is crushed. Whoa, he's wigging out really hard. And has stopped bleeding, I guess? Ooh, okay, he looks pretty roughed up. Hey, first face-to-face -face meeting, hey? They must be really quick texters maybe voice to text i don't know how they communicated did all that communicating there at that point maybe should have lifted him out of there and then talked about it i don't know nah hang on it's fine we're in this together just the two of us is that it oh okay okay uh we're cruising on i guess we're leaving behind smell foot zoo smell couldn't remember his name. <laughs> oh god. Okay, there's a big horrifying drone in the background. Maybe not a good time for selfies. Yeah, yeah. That's the appropriate response. Bail. 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 Get out of here. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Oh god. They did a real number on that planet. Is this like a ship? Is it alive? Oh god. I think it is a ship, but I think it is also alive. The heiress herself was here? Wait. He was just like, uh, maybe it just makes, maybe, uh, all the fire makes for a good selfie for, for her. All the fire in the background. That was accurate. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> That's too much. Kansas City Shuffle. <laughs> I didn't know it. I didn't know it had a, a name for the, the act. I'm seeing in the camera. I'm covered in all this cat hair from the cat. Keep coming up all over the place. Based on Homestuck. Neat. That was a lot of stuff that just happened in those few hours. Quite a few hours, actually, when I look at it. Uh, damn. I'm quite curious where it goes next. But at the same time, I'm overwhelmed by the insane amount of stuff that I didn't really understand. It did a lot to walk me through it and help me understand. I gotta move this cat. But still, there's a lot of unanswered things going on there. I kind of makes me think that getting into Homestuck is maybe a bit too high of like a threshold barrier of entry. The world and universe seems a little insane and I don't know. Outside, I guess you would start with comic number one or whatever, but it seems like a lot. 
their Instagram is a hexagon, the smartphone button is a hexagon, hearts and spades and things. Hey, Temi Chang contributed some of the animation. I didn't know that. I'm kind of looking for other names I, I recognize now, maybe. A lot more people worked on this than I was expecting. Homestuck must be a much bigger project or undertaking than I, than I ever realized. I don't know James Roach. I was pretty certain Toby Fox contributed music to this. Uh, I might have to look into James Roach's work, though. Special thanks to every Homestuck fan and all of our Kickstarter backers. I had no idea this was a Kickstarted game. That's, uh, that's really interesting, actually. I guess it explains how they were able to assemble such a team. And yeah, if you, uh, have a big, well-known thing like Homestuck, then yeah, Kickstarter is the way to go, because you got, like, a fan base ready to fully support what you're doing. I was seeing if I rolled the credits, if it would, if it would come around to some, like, post-credit cutscene or something. I guess not. But hey, that was Hive Swap. I finally did it. <laughs> it's been a long time on my, like, to-do list. It was a longer game than I thought it was going to be, but I, I, I guess I'm glad I set aside a healthy chunk of my day to record that. I gotta go eat dinner or something. I started this right after lunch, and now all of a sudden I'm starving again. That was a, a long session. Cool. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you're keeping an eye out for Act 2. I'm gonna have to read up on that a little bit and see what the progress is, the happenings are, any anything like that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.